Hi everyone, welcome to the second module of our training in black soja fly farming. My name is Martin Tenua from Ento Organic Farm. In the previous video, you learned about the life cycle of the black soldier fly. If you haven't watched that module, please check it out. In this module, we are going to look at how you can start your own colony simply with locally available materials. The first step is we are going to construct a cage frame. This cage frame holds the net where the flies live. These cage frames can be made in different sizes and also from different materials. For this cage, it's going to be made of wooden, but you can make a metallic one. You can use poles also to make your own cage frame. The cage frame has also to be with uh, legs. These legs are supposed to be about 30 centimeters in height. And these legs is where we put the ant traps. We are going to use all the oil. We pour it into these containers. This all the oil will repel the insects that might attack our flies. Alternatively, you can use insect repellent chalk. You cross it or rub it around the leg. This is a stiff net material. It is white with small holes inside to allow in light to enter and reach the flies and also to allow good aeration. It has 75 centimeters in length and 75 centimeters in width and a height of 155 centimeters. On the net, there is also an entrance with a zip where you can always use to put materials inside this net. When you look at this net, it also has a flappers inside. We know the, the flies do not actually stand in air. They need uh, a place where they can stand. So the flappers inside help the fly to have more space to interact and even mate. Still, our net has holders on each corner and these are going to be used to hold the net onto the frame. Now let's prepare a safe location or environment where our flies are going to oviposit eggs. Number one, we are going to organize the woods or eggs. Number two, we are going also to prepare the attractant. So these are woods that uh, we are going to use to collect eggs. They are going to be made in a bundle. Make sure that the wood are smooth. You can sand them so that during the egg harvesting process, it is easy to remove the eggs. They are made in a size of about 25 to 30 centimeters. You can make those woods and also if you look at uh, their width, it can be around three centimeters. Don't go beyond four centimeters. So we are going to create space inside them by putting thumb pins. We are going to stick thumb pins inside our woods created on each end. And then later we shall be able to put a wood without the thumb pin so that a gap, a small gap is created. Then we are going to get another wood of the same size, which can go on top. These pins can locally be found in stationaries. But if you don't get these pins, you can use papers. Now that we have finished uh, putting our thumb pins into these woods, we are going to stack them on each other. The second step is to tie our bundle with a rubber band. 
some farmers if you have a uh, uh, old tube you can get really good uh, uh, rubber bands from old tires or tubes that you can cut they are more sustainable naturally the black soldier flies actually like to hide their eggs what we do is to mimic the natural environment we create these woods with small gaps and with this gap they will be able to use this place as a safe location they can hide their eggs from predators and from even drying out this is how we prepare the attractant the importance of the attractant is to lure the female flies to ovipost eggs near the woods because the flies like to lay where there is food for their newborn babies or hatchlings so if you provide this attractant will definitely the flies will definitely ovipost eggs within the woods the materials to use to make a good attractant you can have organic waste or food waste that is fermented you can use chicken droppings cow dung or pig dung you can use fish offals when you see that your attractant is not good it is not smelly enough you can actually combine you can combine chicken droppings and also combine it with uh, food waste that is fermented you mix together and add in water so that they are in a polish like form you can also consider using the old attractant half of it with the new uh, food waste some people also consider using dead flies and they add them into a mix so a combination is also very good you will place these woods on top of the attractant and per each cage you can consider putting four bundles of these woods four bundles will be good or even six it depends now when the fly looks at this arrangement it will signal a good condition for them to come and ovipost eggs or lay eggs with this arrangement be sure to collect much more eggs from your fly colony now our fly cage you can see it it's complete with a frame and a net now let us introduce the pupa so the pupa you can outsource it from uh, breeders of black soldier fly alternatively you can collect the pupa near a heap of uh, old chicken droppings in your farm or you can collect it near a garbage collection center so we put this sack you can put anything on the base of your cage then you're going to introduce uh, this pupa this pupa is going actually to emerge into flies within a duration of four to six days they will have emerged and start to mate be mindful that what you put in the cage are the dormant pupa not the pre-pupa now we are going to introduce our attractant container with the eggs into the net you place it in the middle the eggs are well spaced and the flies when the pupa emerges the flies will always come and ovipost within these eggs second we put a cover container on top on top of this cover container we are going to place a water source so you can use cotton as a water source you soak the cotton with water alternatively you can use a cloth or you can use a soft mattress that can hold water we don't always put plain water like this one because our flies actually will fall in and die 
when the cotton is uh, soaked with water you're going to place it on top for the flies whenever they emerge they can start doing what uh, sipping the water or drinking the water so our cage is finally done we have the water source we have the eggs the attractant and everything is safe for our flies to really grow right now i see flies they have started actually to emerge within the third day the entire cage is going to be dark we shall be having about 10,000 flies within this fly cage now we need to place this cage this entire cage where there is natural sunlight oh if it is in an open place like this cover it with a transparent plastic all over or you can keep it inside a structure congratulations upon setting up your own black soldier fly colony in our next module we are going to look at how we harvest the black soldier fly eggs the handling and how you can hatch them very well but please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and also let's share the knowledge about black soldier fly farming as a business see you in the next video bye bye